there was a massive, and I do mean massive, march for Palestine in Washington, D.C. This is the second one of this size. This one was 400,000. The last one, which I attended, was 300,000 people. These are obviously estimates. You can't know exactly how many people attend these things, especially when people will often show up for an hour and then different groups will show up for the next hour, et cetera. So it's a changing group of people. But here is some uh, sped up footage of the hundreds of thousands that were in Washington, D.C., protesting this genocide, trying to end this genocide, trying to get our government to stop facilitating this genocide and sending weapons which are rained down on children. Over 10,000 children have been murdered in just three months. Uh, over 23,000 people have been murdered in just three months. 70% of those are women and children in just three months. Uh, all but three hospitals are inoperable uh, thanks to the Israeli military. Uh, more journalists killed in Gaza than in just three months than were killed in the entirety of the Vietnam War and the entirety of World War II. Um, more UN workers have been killed in Gaza than any conflict ever. All of that's gone on, and yet some countries on the global stage still refuse to stand up against this genocide and say this is uh, okay this is not this will not be done in our names this would not we will not allow the blood on our hands um and they continue to to support this genocide here is a sped up version of uh, the the, uh, the coverage of these hundreds of thousands that marched in Washington DC if you were there thank you for lending your voice and your body to to fight against this